Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RV. We have some important news, kind of cool news that we want to share with you guys. Uh, just happened today and we're going to give you the details. But two quick things first. Number one, you may be looking at my face and saying, why do you have a bandaid on your face? And so to avoid all the comments, I figured we would just address it. I actually had a dermatologist appointment and there was something on my face that didn't quite look right. So they did want to take a little chunk of it out and it's being biopsied. So not to worry, we'll find out in about 10 days. So hopefully all is okay with that. Next, we also mentioned this at the beginning of every video, guys, that we have had an issue with a lot of you being unsubscribed. You're all telling us in every video, many of you are saying that you've been unsubscribed. Take a quick second and just check that you are subscribed if you'd like to be and hit the notification bell so you know when our videos come out. We usually do about three to five videos a week, so if you're not seeing us, definitely check. All right, so let's get into this important news. So this is March 21st, 2024. This is coming from RV Business. And it's the Newmar dealer convention open house where dealers meet with Newmar. It's when they show their newest models that are coming out, what's changing when dealers make their orders. And there's some big things that have happened at the show. A lot of change at Newmar in the last couple yeah. of years. So basically that old, I would say old regime, right? The, the Malin Miller and everybody that was associate. A lot of that top brass is out now. So a lot of new change new CEO, vice president, engineers, a lot going on and a new model is out and a lot of changes to the current floor plans that we think are a good thing because so change we, sometimes is a good thing. We met with uh, new Mar the new president, newer president, Casey Tubman. We spent some time with him at the Florida RV Super Show and new blood is great and he's young and vibrant and has amazing ideas and i think this is really what he brought to this this meeting and we really are excited to share this with you we're excited to see this so we're just going to give you the highlights that have been provided by rv business of course if you want to read more about it we'll put the article the link to that rv business article down below one of the big focal points by president casey tubman was the rv industry has slowed down a lot significantly 23 they don't expect 24 to be much better maybe a little bit better but not much so of course manufacturers they have to adapt to this and being that Numar is under the umbrella of Winnebago, fortunately, they have a lot of resources. Unlike some other smaller manufacturers, some that have been put out of business and some that are really suffering a lot and don't have that ability to make change. So here's in quotes, guys. This is from President Tubman. He says, this past year has flown by with a whirlwind of change in the dynamics of the industry and the products we have brought out for you to see this week. Well, we have questions about when and how the 224 selling season will heat up. There's no question about the commitment to build the best motor coaches for our customers. That's what he said. And Numar has really kind of stood out. You saw a lot of issues with manufacturing in RVs and, and Numar wasn't immune to that, but they definitely were kind of ahead of the game, trying to keep the build quality up. And we believe just speaking to, to Mr. Tubman that that is one of their commitments to stay known as one of the premier production motorhomes on the market. So moving on, Vice President of Sales, Matt Ellinger, he offered some highlights for what's in store for 2025. It's very exciting. So there'll be 77, about 77 floor plans for 13 brands. And now this is what we can't wait mm -hmm. for a brand new, all new Northern Star. So this is a brand new model, an entry level diesel pusher that replaces the Country Star. So the Country Star is going bye bye. And we always loved the Country Star. We yeah. actually looked at it two Tampas when ago. When it was like $240,000. Yeah, and we're just, oh, we <laughs> really, way more expensive. really loved it. But yes, yeah, so the Northern Star will be replacing the Country Star. Quote, the Northern Star boasts a redesigned cockpit, brand new interiors, and a floor plan for just about everyone, Ellinger said. With new fascia, new headboard, new bedding, porcelain tile, new backsplash, new exterior, and a 10,000 pound tow hitch, the Northern Star is primed to create a buzz and ready to make a splash at a price point landing lower than its predecessor. So that's good to hear. So the Country Star, when it came out, was to replace the Ventana LE. And, and they said the Country Star was new, but the Country Star had been around, like those names recycled, it was around years ago. They had a Country Star fifth wheel, didn't they? They had... did. And now the Northern Star is also a previous Numar model, but they're bringing it back. Mm -hmm. So here's some highlights that we found about the Northern Star. The floor plans are gonna be from 34 feet up to 40 feet. It's not gonna have Comfort Drive, which is a cost reduction. It looks like it's being targeted really to like that Tiffin 
Allegro Red, mm -hmm. Byway, that area, like more entry level, which might attract a lot of people. Now, there's plenty of motorhomes out there that don't have the comfort drive. We would love to test drive that and see how yeah, it, it's out yeah. there. It's going to be on a Freightliner custom chassis. We'll have the Cummins 360 in it. And as more details come out, we do have a couple pictures of it. We will certainly share it with you. But this is exciting news, right? Mm -hmm. They're reducing the price. The market is reacting to what the customers want. The customer is not buying high priced motorhomes. And we did quite a few videos talking about the Class A motorhome segment is really suffering right now. It's become almost unsustainable to buy these motorhomes. So they have to react and build something that's more affordable. Now concerning the rest of Newmar's lineup, new floor plans were added and some less popular ones they have removed now. What I do like that they're saying with these new floor plans that the interiors are going to take on a more contemporary feel. So they're going to be making a lot of changes. So they had the third Newmar exec speak and this was Paul White and he's actually a UK native, and he joined last year as the director of engineering. So he presented many changes that are on the horizon. Among them, he says, was an implementation of a state-of-the-art 3D CAD and product lifestyle management software tools, which he said is a big change for us. So in quotes, now we'll be building in 3D, this is huge, and we can evaluate designs and solve problems long before they see production. We can visualize the exterior and interior designs without building an actual coach and all departments across the company will have access to the same information in real time. You talk about quality and being able to start to diagnose things before they're, yes, before they're put together and in people's hands. Well, I remember when we spoke to Mr. Tubman at the Tampa show, he said he wanted it, he told us he wanted to integrate a lot of the philosophies and ways that the automotive manufacturing works where they're, they're just, more efficient, less mistakes. Another big change, and this is something that you've probably heard us talk about many, many times when we've done reviews, not just of Newbar, but a lot of different manufacturers, is where we open the bay with the wiring and it, it looks like a, a bird's everywhere. nest, right? Or they call it a spaghetti bundle. So yeah. they said previously wiring was one through, run through walls and above the ceilings before culminating in a spaghetti bundle at the lighting control box. And we used to see that a lot. Now all those wires are going to be pretty much removed from the ceilings and they're going to be organized in a panel located in the basement storage compartment of the diesel. Uh, brands. What they're actually doing with this is they're going to be reducing the length of wires per coach by 650 feet. Which is nice, simplifies yeah. it. Also, that's a huge cost savings because copper yeah. is pretty damn expensive. Mm -hmm. And 650 feet per coach, that's a lot. That's a lot. In addition, Numar is streamlining the multiplex system as well as cabinetry options and the interior. So for example, in 2024 model year, they had 13 wood colors, six clear coat finishes for interiors, 13 wall vinyls, and 13 different door styles. For 25, they're now gonna have five wood colors, including all new white, three clear coat finishes, eight wall vinyls and six door styles, including an all new shaker style. It's definitely getting more modern, mm -hmm. more modern. Mm -hmm. So reducing the amount efficiency, cutting out the fat and just focusing more on what works and what sells. We are very, very excited about the direction that Newmar is headed in. It, again, it has this really fresh and new feel that we're very excited about. We're obviously huge Newmar fans. We've had our Newmar now for Five full well, years. Yeah, starting our sixth year. And actually tune in tomorrow, guys. We have a really, really great video for you tomorrow talking about that very thing. Mm -hmm. And I think it's be very eye-opening for a lot of you. But we're very excited to, not just for the, the Northern Star, but just Newmar in general. And just when we were speaking to uh, Mr. Tubman again at the Tampa show, his focus was on quality and efficiency mm -hmm. and bringing a more modern feel to Newmar. But this is good. This is a good thing and hopefully they continue to focus on that quality. If they do that, they put together a well-built coach and they innovate and they can streamline and they can reduce those prices, they're going to sell more motorhomes. So we're really excited about this. We will be at the Music City Motor Coach Expo just outside of Nashville in June with the NRVC one where all these 25s will be there. Hopefully we'll be test driving them, seeing them, bringing you full reviews and telling you what we think. We're really excited about this along with all the other motorhomes that are gonna be there. So in the comments below, let us know what do you think about this? Do you think Numar is moving in the right direction or do you like the classic and you think they're not moving the right direction. Mm -hmm. If you like videos like this, 
To the left of us, we'll put our RV news playlist, we'll put our RV tours playlist, and for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you on, on the, the road. road.